coffee. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Kilauea Day 4. We are Lou and Anna, two pineapples live at Kilauea at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Once I start seeing some thumbs up, some pineapple something, letting me know that you got us, you got a picture, you got some audio, we will dig in and see what we get for the day. It is a windy, Crisp, cool, I said crisp, <laughs> crisp, cool morning up here. Probably around 57 degrees. Looks like it rained at some point in the, in the night. All right, I see some type of acknowledgement that you got us. Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, thank you, Ed. That's what I was waiting for right there. Good morning, Dennis and Susie and Rick, Amanda, Mizell, Bonjour, Franny, Jim, Elaine, Aurelio, Mi Hermano in España, Mike Cono, Blue Moon, who uh, lives down the road. Saw him on what, day one? Robert, Anya, Nate, our good friend Ed, and there's Tiggy, Kate, Gary. Woo! Good morning, good morning, Pat. Janlin, did I say that right? And AB, thank you all again for joining us. We are on a roll on day four. And uh, I don't know if you guys caught Hawaii Pod last night. I didn't quite make it through the whole the whole uh, program. I was uh, getting kind of kind of droopy eyed, and but I got a lot of the the information that we needed. Kilauea is erupting out in front of us about 2.2 miles I Google Earth that last night and ran that measuring tape across and uh, for English speakers it's 2.2 for everybody else it was I think it was 3,800 meters from this point to the cone over there to our Fisher cone lava I don't know if we call it a lava fall anymore it looks like it's more coming out the bottom or the backside Definitely a big change. We got a horseshoe of lava. It's not filling the entire caldera. Our infamous pond is filled up there in the middle. We'll try to get some good shots of that today. And my lovely wife is over to the left of us. Good morning. Good morning. I don't know if you can hear her. She's dialing in her gear over there. Dane and Phil used a bunch of her shots last night. Nice and crisp and clear and uh, really showed what's going on over there at that that wall. If you have some questions, please drop them into the chat and uh, put a pineapple or some thumbs up on it. Mods will grab it, or if I see it, I will myself. I also posted up the USGS flight in where they are gathering samples of lava. That is courtesy of Lance Page of Page Films. He is wandering somewhere around the caldera as we speak, I'm sure. He captured a, a pretty cool video. It's a shorts. It's in our community tab. Maybe one of the mods will drop that in as we get going today. Oh, you heard her? Okay. Actually, Kane Amanda, she is over to the left of me, about 15 feet, keeping safe distance. As always, as you sometimes may forget, Look over to your left in about five, four, three, two, one, and hit that thumbs up, hit that notification bell. Sometimes YouTube doesn't get everybody, so make sure it's hit. And always check the community tab to know when our next live is. Share us out, you can copy that link, drop it on your Facebook, that'd be fantastic. Our algorithm is on fire, and we love it. 
you had said that is the original pond. It is. That's right. And uh, almost had to check myself into therapy over it again. It was, it's what we were living on for quite a while during uh, two eruptions ago. And there were some epic moments with that pond. Don't get me wrong. Some of the falls that were going in there were so fast and furious and just thick lava. And then that's all we had. And I don't know. It was it's tough. Lava or wet lava? Oh, here we go again. Wet lava. It is a pond, so you know what? I'm going to give that to you this morning. Mm -hmm. Wet lava in the lava pond. I would like to know when breakfast is. Aloha from Kau, Gary. I did see uh, one thing that Pod was talking about in Tracker last night is they put up. Um, yeah, I did, Dennis, I did see that. One thing I did see Pod put up last night is the SO2 is really thick moving across the island and out along the coast. And I think he used windy.com and really showed how thick it is out there. So I feel bad for you guys down in Kau and around Kona side really getting a getting a blast of SO2. A lot of a lot of problems for those who have asthma. And when, I didn't hear if Dane or Phil brought it up on what our total gallons were. A bunch of us in here were working on what our total gallons could possibly be. Dennis had a quite the uh, math. <laughs> I'm gonna take a picture of that and post it on Discord later when I get home. And broke it down scientifically, mathematically. Oh, he did put it on this. Oh, he did put it on Discord. That's right. I haven't gone through it because there's, oh. there's a lot of stuff beneath it, so you have to scroll all oh, the back up. Oh, yeah. The some of the channels get kind of uh, packed with stuff in there, so you got to scroll up a little bit. We're sitting at three billion gallons, Dennis. Am I right about that? Double check. And what kind of lava does Kilauea have? Well, as my wife would say, it has wet lava. <laughs> <laughs> So for those that are new to the channel, thanks for joining us. Sit back, enjoy. We are Luanana Two Pineapples. We are live here at Kilauea on the Big Island of Hawaii. It is 4.07 a.m. Please remember that we are not geologists, scientists, prognosticators. We are just here pointing and shooting. We let the pros give us the numbers and we go with that. I do a little bit of prognosticating. For example, I watched Groundhog Day last night before I went to bed. Oh, and I was in bed before I fell asleep. I only made about two minutes in, but see, I, I like how the groundhog predicts things. That's kind of my style. Is the wall vent all done? Uh, no, it's there. It's up in the top right corner. See how dark it is all the way around? It's just not as much. We caught the best moments. Another reason why we just put the time in and come up every single day. You know, we get to watch the evolution of it or the destruction of it, um, the decline of it, whatever however you want to put it, whatever happens. But you can definitely see from yesterday when it was really going off to today where she's just kind of fountaining out the top. Let me grab my glasses here, hold on. <coughs> Choked on my car. So you're telling me you're gonna drown in your coffee while watching wet lava. Nice work. I don't know. It's not a. Yeah, I got it. It's, it's a pretty good, fairly good picture. 2.2 miles away with not an amount, not a huge amount of light over there. I'm not sure what that means. I'm groundhogging. <laughs> She does stand uh, usually 15 to 20 feet away from me. Really got active last night too. Anyone know how many? Huh? You taped this tripod over here. Can I take it off because I have to go vertical? 
You're gonna remove my you're gonna remove my duct tape? Yeah. Double check to see if I screwed it together. Oh no. I, I might have on this side. Yeah. Um take the gimbal off of there or the hand motor off. Oh you're free, so yeah, we'll get some. You know me, I don't like wobbling. I don't think that helps. It does. on the head, I'd have two hands, huh? One second. We're doing a uh, tripod modification over here. <laughs> Sorry, I had to go help Anna take some duct tape off of a tripod she's using. I had that one there taped up so it was locked in place. She needs to move it around. Hey, Dennis. <laughs> so in about five minutes or so, <clears throat> we'll go over a quick update on what's been going on. I have everything right here, maybe. I did get a question a lot well we've been getting a lot of questions lately in the last few days and looking at the date here I got a question about drone flying and you guys all know the rules there's no drones in the park and on February 12th 2016 a ranger up here tased somebody for droning and running away good morning is that a dinosaur out there? <laughs> yeah, it could be a dinosaur. No, it looks more like a jellyfish. <laughs> so in the article, this guy, he was found guilty and uh, fined a thousand bucks. I don't know what, what's worse, a thousand bucks or getting tased. Yep, and it says, uh, he understood he disobeyed the park ranger's lawful order to stop running away and the ranger's use of a taser was entirely justified according to the ranger's situation. Sanders fled after the ranger tried to arrest him. <laughs> My tase, I would tase you for your dog. <laughs> All right, Friday, June 9th. That's our that's our latest. We don't have a. There's no new update. That's it, huh? Yeah. That's our current most current update. What the cops need is a taser on a drone. <laughs> that's just rotten. I'm not a fan of tasers. I am not a fan of tasers. On other people, it doesn't really bother me too much. But on myself, I'm not a fan of them. So, so this is our update as of <clears throat> June 9th, 2023 at 8.55 a.m. They haven't given us anything since then. It's Saturday morning here, I think, right, Saturday? Yeah. So we'll see what time their update comes out. It'll probably be by the time we get done and head on home. But we'll put that up on our 247. The active summary at Kilauea is everything you guys know. It is erupting. I'm just going to give you the, the facts. I'm not going to read it verbatim here. Uh, lava fountain heights have decreased, but remain up to 10 meters, 33 feet high for us, for us English speakers. The active lava and vents cover much of the west half of the crater. You guys can see it's a horseshoe down there now. I'm going to kind of zoom out here. Let's see what you can see on this end. Anna. Yes. In bearing gifts. 
Did you bring her biscuits? biscuits. Oh my god. <laughs> So there's our oh, horseshoe no, right there. I brought biscuit, Anna. <clears throat> Did Bonnie make them? Yeah. <laughs> so there's our horseshoe. From listening to Philip last night, uh, different lookouts now give you less or more of a view, and some lookouts don't have that much view anymore. So where we're at is we're at Waldron's Ledge. This is a straight shot into the caldera. It's probably your best view right now. Anything going to the east or west, you start losing visibility on different parts of the lake. Over the past 24 hours, the level of the central lava lake has increased by approximately 1.5 meters or 5 feet as measured by a laser rangefinder. We talked a little bit about the SO2. Our numbers are 21,000. That's what the, was the last measured on June 8th. And we are getting reports we just saw Kau gave a little morning report uh, yesterday and Kona gave another report yesterday they were experiencing it so there's our report apologies for interruption okay what you got I mean when you were trying to read the report oh that's, that's okay that is okay so all in all the number one part of this report that we know is happening is Kilauea is still erupting. Day four. Yeah, Lily. Pod did uh, show a bunch of our footage on there. They also showed a, um, a lot of other stuff. Philip was actually up here, I think, taking some pics, showing some different lookout shots, what you can see. He broke down really well on where you can see what. Also definitely mentioned that coming into the park between prime hours, you're going to wait in traffic. Some of you have been to some of the larger parks in the US, Yosemite, Zion, Glacier, their gates going into them are 15 lanes wide. We have two. What would you say? It's probably 10, 15 vehicles in each lane before it even gets, then it reaches the highway, and then you're out on the highway waiting to come in. Could be a little bit more than that. But it's small, which will be fun because they are in staging Pretty soon they'll be staging to demolish the front entrance, three quarters I think of the visitor center and the Jagger Museum and half that parking lot. It's gonna, it's gonna be a lot of construction going on up here. But we have an event like this and they've got construction, it's gonna be fun times. Tasers do hurt, Tiggy. Good morning, Lisa. Jenny. So, now that we are up and running, looks like things are semi-smooth. I am going to start pounding coffee. We actually didn't even drink much coffee. We, we got out of bed, suited up, threw the gear in, and, and came up. Yesterday, we had everything set up. We had to get everything set up in about oh, eight to ten minutes before we went live because we stayed, I don't know, we just kind of drug out of the house yesterday, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Drinking some coffee, getting our heads together, talking a little bit, and this morning we didn't say much of two words to each other. We just got <laughs> dressed and jumped in the van and came on up. You've actually seen someone get tased at a hockey game. Oh, tasers. Ray, you sure make a lot of noise over there. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Ray, don't listen. I thought I was noisy. <laughs> he does the same now thing. You should hear me when I get up in the morning with the whole house, man. <laughs> don't bother me. I mean, all your, 
ruffling some. Uh... All you're missing over there is that bubble pop wrap stuff. Did you bring any uh, packing bubbles? <laughs> <laughs> We'll definitely be able to see that uh, wall, cone, fissure, activity in the very back once the sun comes up in a little bit. A little bit better, because it's dark back there. How's the crowds? Good morning, Robert. Um, busy. This morning, though, I mean, when we come in, you know, there's two cars in the visitor center. I don't see any headlamps. I see one, two, three headlamps on the Devastation Trail side. And I see one up at, uh, nope, I did see one up there at Jagger. And demolish, set free, <laughs> set free the prisoners, I don't know. The one thing about the Jagger Museum, I've been asking, you guys know you hear me say this all the time, I always ask, you know, I'm not afraid to ask. And one thing I've been asking for up at the Jagger Museum, to those who might have some leverage on this, which they keep telling me the answer is no, is I'm trying to score the old phone booth from up there. The last information I got on that was that uh, I have to discuss that with the contracting crew, which is okay. There's a good chance that either myself knows them or somebody I know knows that crew so there's still hope all's not lost yet you guys can see how less um, I'm gonna put that how much less lava is coming out or spreading around that in the back there, see how much how dark it is. Yesterday, with the walls were lit up. There was so much lava. Would you like a biscuit? Hello? Oh, not right now. Okay, I'll put them Once, on the wall. I'm gonna chew up a little bit. And you really brought biscuits? Coffee. He did. Oh, they smell good. <laughs> not yet. Too, not yet. Just, just getting fueled up. Yeah, but we thanks, usually, Ray. When we have coffee in the morning. Mm -hmm. Hey, good morning, Dane. I looted the Jagger with mm -hmm. drills four years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I know it would be a total man cave score. I have this strange fascination with uh, old pay phones. You know, everybody's got their thing, right? Mine, for some reason, everywhere I go, I see a pay phone. I always pick it up to see if I can hear a. Or you go and try to call Dawn. I try to call Dawn. I always try to call Dawn from it. If there's a dial tone, I'll try to call Dawn. The only place I have found a payphone that worked was uh, Peru. We were in Haraz, Peru. Waraz. <laughs> Waraz. I think if I was able to get a payphone, I would somehow try to figure out how to make it work, whether I had to put a regular phone in there or not. How high is the fountain? Uh, Dane, did you guys put up a number on the actual height from Caldera floor to the top of that? We were saying yesterday it could have been right around 100 foot or so. NPS approved. It's so hard to, I'm trying to get the fountain in the, the cone. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm so quiet. I'm just like waiting You're and focused, watching. I know. Just trying to get that fountain part in there. Mm -hmm. You had good shots on it yesterday. You're just dealing with a lot less light right now. Feel free to call anyone anywhere. 
Actually, you know what? If I can get the pay phone to work, I'm going to make you put quarters in it. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I go as far back as dimes. Some of you probably were around when they used to put nickels in them. I'm at the age of dimes. The guy next to me over here sitting down, he was probably the, around during the time you had to crank the phone to get it to work. 400 foot, I would say. Philip thinks more, but it gets complicated on the calc. So there we go. Thank you, sir. Did you really bring your dog up with you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I didn't even it's know. It's, it's really so not quiet. A, it's really not a dog. It's more like <laughs> part bear, bear, part werewolf. <laughs> yeah. If we ever get into an apocalyptic situation, you've got six months of food there. That's just not <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Probably costs more to feed the dogs than yourself. Whew. Biscuits smothered with eggs, hash browns. Good gracious. Oh. It is a black dog. He says, biscuits smothered with eggs, hash browns, bacon, sausage, cheese, and gravy. Good gracious. I eat that. You would not get me to move for about four hours. I'm old enough for dimes Excuse for most me, of high school's quarters. Too much credit. More than four hours. <laughs> yeah, probably the day. Yeah, when I was born, I was only the telegraph. <laughs> the telegraph. <laughs> I think we still have pay phones, but I think... I think only one set work. Yeah, we do. We, I mean, we still have pay phones all around the island. I still haven't found one that works. Yep, Jessica Ray brought us biscuits. Which we will have after we, uh, after we wake up a little bit. Sinks in a little bit. <laughs> Lily, I thought you were going to change your name on there. You said you were going to change your screen name. My dog gets a brekkie, a cooked brekkie. I'm saying I'm going to translate that as breakfast. Breakfast biscuit. I'm guessing. The term, the, put the drop on him, refers to dropping a dime in the pay phone and rat someone out to the cops. Put the dime on him. Robert, right on. I never heard that before. I've heard that term, but I didn't know what it was, what it meant. Okay, I'm going to change my settings. I'll do some first. Yeah, especially right now. <clears throat> Somebody was paying attention yesterday morning. <laughs> Here you can't call to the numbers of cabins phones for cut the spinage. Aurelio, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with you. Hey, can you make collect calls on our cell phone? I don't think so. I haven't been, uh, I haven't tried to make a collect call in oh, decades. No, it's interesting. I don't know. Where are you guys set up? We are set up 
at Waldron's Ledge. I am going to try a collect call on my cell phone to Dane right now. Dane, if you get a call from an operator, you better accept the charges. How high can you say that from the train you talked that thing was? 400 feet. Really? Yeah. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Well, we're 2.2 .2 miles from this exact point right here directly under my feet, not an inch to the right or left, exactly at this point, to the very top of that cone. It's 2.2 .2 miles. Nope, can't access an operator. Only thing I can do is hit Verizon. They should probably hang up on me. A new subscriber, thank you. Looks like the alerts are all working. Payphones are free in Australia? Get out of here. Really? Reject? <laughs> what if I was in jail? You'd still reject the call? They don't like No, you. Dane's all reject. <laughs> I don't know him. <laughs> no pay phones in Canberra. I didn't know that, Australia. We have not made it to Australia yet. No, that's one of the places we really, really want to go. The furthest I've made it <laughs> south of the equator is Jakarta, Bali, Indonesian Islands, Nusa Penida, Lombok, Zimbabwe. Apparently, Aurelio. The only thing I could do is make smoke signals because he is not going to accept a collect call anyway. Yeah. Less wind here, huh? yeah, a lot less wind with that wall behind that wall of trees behind us. Yep. Do we know if the middle has deflated since it's erupted? Yes, we do. And one of the mods can go ahead and drop Hawaii Pod's program that they ran last night during their live, and they talked about that. What's All the numbers are on there. Dane DuPont of HawaiiTracker.com is on here right now. He can probably give you some good information on that, which is kind of nice. I'm going to sit back and just work the cameras and make sure things stay alive. Nice thing about having some pros on here and the mods to take care of some stuff while I pound some coffee. Did you have technical difficulties yesterday morning? Yeah, we got throttled hard. So yeah. There was a lot of people. But you know what's really great though? You know, I don't say what maybe I don't know what but the audio on that was really good though. On the mic over here? Yeah, yeah really thank good. you. Right on. Yeah, when it comes to like the video part of it, well, it, it's it's only about how good you. I swear, Ray, I was coming up here all chill. It's only as good as what you're looking at it through. I swear. Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> All right, almost. This cup is cold. I need it. You got the tankard somewhere? In the cart. Hey, well, actually, that's some nice stuff, right? What's that? Yeah, it, Lance, Lance definitely films for documentaries and... So what you're saying, when you looked at you know, that helicopter footage, that was great, that wasn't all like... Yeah, yep, yeah. so right, you want, you know? yep. The 
question you have to ask yourself is, do you want to see it? From that point on, nothing else matters. Yes, please check out Hawaii Pod. Shows are normally running on Thursdays at 5 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. They have been popping in with some different lives or different times of lives due to the current situation with the eruption, which is normal when we get an eruption. It's not always on Thursday at 5 p.m. So they will uh, do a live. I know you guys did a live at, I think, midnight day one or two it's all starting to blur up but it was like midnight i think when you guys were were going for it check them out they also hawaii tracker on facebook if you want to see every possible picture of hawaii not just volcanoes but all the activity that's going on over here hawaii tracker on facebook with somewhere around 120,000 followers is a is a great place to to see some crazy photos. Good stuff, there's everything from a cell phone shot to the pros that are put, posting up on there. Where are you at right now, Lou? We are at 14,272, I think. All right. All right. Back to the 272 at this point. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I found out you had a, a YouTube channel. How's that? <clears throat> that moves me. Oh, was it? Yeah. It was good. We were just talking about the music on our channel. We were something like over 400 songs now on there. It's like 420 something songs, 425. And, and that's put on in since December of 2020. We started that the channel and added music. What season is it in Hawaii? Currently, at this location, it is the dead of winter. It's about 57 degrees and wind is blowing at about 15 miles an hour. We are at 4,000 feet. Now, in a couple hours, we will descend to our home, which is at 900 feet, and it will be fall or early spring, where it will be about 75 degrees. If we travel down into Kona, it is the dead of summer where it is a, a smoking 85 and burn your face off. We don't really have the normal type of seasons that everybody has. And we do have some trees that t change colors, but they change colors at odd times of the year. It's like they're on their own schedule. Got to remember how close we are to the equator our temperature here stays pretty consistent in the elevation and location of the island that you're in. We live in a rainforest. It's pretty much normally 75 degrees, wet. Come up here, it's pretty normally, this time of night anyway, cold, windy, wet. Go up on Mauna Kea, it's negative 200 degrees Celsius. Winds at 450 miles an hour. Good morning, Ken. I saw you snuck in here. Oh, you got persimmons. Yeah. Oh, right on. So they do change colors. Do they change colors in fall or do they change colors yeah. in the fall? 
Ken says, I've got my eyes on the amount of swell on this island has shown and they and the very low and steady rate at which it's deflating. Pele always has a curve at its disposal. That's right. Five is hot. Eighty-five is smoking hot for us. Did you yeah. did you mention we were at Waldron's? His yeah, yeah, yeah. We are at Waldron's. Anna's asking me, but yeah, Dane asked where we were at. Do the highest points on the island ever get snow? Yes, they do. Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea both get snow during the winter, and this year we had quite a bit of snow. Oh yeah, Haleakala gets snow. That's right. Anything? You know what? It snowed in the volcano before, though, bro. Did it really? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. There ever does any snow on Kauai? No. Peaks high enough? No. no. Are you getting that? What are you getting right now? I'm getting the full. Yeah. Because it's really starting to bubble. Yeah, she just kind of. It actually was bubble. It's bubbling for a little while now. Yeah. Yeah, I like that photo. It looks like a real volcano. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's uh, the closest thing we have to a. <laughs> right? <laughs> so it's a volcano in a volcano. That's right. Back to my corner. We did. I did. I don't know if anybody else saw it, but I did get my first question in chat. I haven't seen it yet on the chat while we've been out here. We haven't had the question since we've been standing here for four days, but I saw it in the 24-7 live chat yesterday. The infamous question, okay. <laughs> is this expected to erupt? I was waiting for it. It only took four days. I'm going to say, with my unofficial voice, that it's officially erupting. Congratulations. Can we get a round of applause? That is beautiful right there, isn't it? Look at that. It's 4.42 a.m. We are Lou and Anna, two pineapples, live at Kilauea on the Big Island of Hawaii in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. It's June 10th, 2023. Thank you all for joining us, all of our member subscribers, all of our mods for helping in the last few days. Dane DuPont with Hawaii Tracker is in there. I'm not sure if Mr. Philip Ong is around. He is probably busy with Hawaii Pod. If you have a question about what's going on, please don't hesitate to put it in the chat. Somebody will grab it if I see it. I'll do my best to give an answer. Yesterday we had a nice visit after we got done with the stream. We had some locals here that were up here checking out the volcano right next to us. And as soon as we shut the cameras off, they introduced themselves. They've been following us for quite a while and their family in the mainland. That was a nice conversation. Mm -hmm. Very friendly couple. Mm -hmm. um, maybe when we get home this afternoon, we'll share a little bit of okay. it and share yeah. their link and all that good stuff. We, we can didn't do get that. to it yesterday, but great people. Great people. They've been. They definitely have been following us for a long yeah. time. They know everything about <laughs> us down to the T. Yeah, we were we were <laughs> talking, and I would go to say, "Well, we did this," and they're like, "Oh yeah, we oh, know." Yeah, and then the, oh, yeah. they describe the incident and all that fun stuff <laughs> and our reaction, word for word. He sleeps at normal hours, unlike us. <laughs> That's right. We are the uh, opposite side, the opposite spectrum of normal. Look at that. What a nice shot. Are you recording this? Yes, I am. I just moved up. I got 492 gigabyte of space left, so I'm hitting the record button myself, just in case. All these shots are available at the gift shop on the way out the door. 
free of charge. <laughs> gift shops. Well, I'm just saying. You're just making false <laughs> advertisement. I said they were free anyway. And all of you that Whoa. have been, all of you that have been you shopping in our one. merch store, thank you very much. We are, uh, we're selling out. So thank you very much. I did reply to a couple of you that have custom design printing shops, embroidery and that. Um, you got emails waiting for you or direct messages. Check them out. You, did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. I saw it go. It's choo, pretty spectacular. Like that. choo, choo, choo. I, it, that's the sound it makes. Well, that's what I thought of when it did it. <laughs> Is that what you hear when you open the window of your spaceship? Oh my goodness. <laughs> What a what a what a sight, huh? Oh yeah, I'm not touching this. No, don't touch that. Because I have the floor too. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, yeah, volumes up. I just saw in there. Aurelio gifted five memberships. Thanks, Aurelio. That was very nice of you. Muchas gracias, hermano. Says the Jetsons. That's exactly what it sounded like, the Jetsons. That's what your volcano sounds are. I was going to sing it, but we're going to hey, get dinged. you get dinged. I, I love it. <laughs> That thing is going off. Well, aren't we very fortunate? When we walked up this morning, she was not looking like that at all. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty rare to catch more than 10 people here. And that's, we haven't seen 10 people standing here at the same time for two years. Yeah. Oh, it's not. This is the wheelchair accessible. Right. Well, well that, you know, the, the lookout, that's pretty, pretty you know, But you still have gravel to cross. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh, gosh. Could it erupt again? Oh, please, please. Let me read. I gotta scroll up. I know, I'm gonna scroll up. I gotta scroll up. I gotta scroll up. <laughs> what does the volcano sound like? Um, let's start with. If you go to the airport and listen to the jets um, take off, that's. Uh, pretty much what you're going to hear. Along with some rumbling, you're going to hear some explosions. The first night, there was a lot of sound, a lot of jet sounds, a lot of gas coming out there, so it was just... <laughs> so it was... No, no, well, but, uh, but those sound effects are available in the gift store as well. You can put them on your flashcard. <laughs> And of course, our first day, the rumbling. Yeah. The gas sounds were, were just like. Boom, boom. Mm hmm. They were non stop. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm going to go back to my corner. Okay. Sometimes it's hard for us to catch that audio uh, of the eruption actually happening because we we have everything set up in this system for our audio and we would have to extend the boom mic. We have a, a big shotgun mic that'll pick up sounds, but up here, we got the wind and the, 
and and people around us sometimes we catch it some the devastation side is a, is a mile closer than what we are now it's significantly closer so we definitely have a better shot at hearing sounds over there but that is definitely a harder place for us to stream a we wouldn't see this ex just amazing shots right now because that wall blocks it and b there's a lot of people over there that's a hot spot for tourists and c you're totally exposed out there you're out on the on the ledge the wind the dirt the dust i mean it's just it's hard that's a hard shoot we spent a lot of hours over there we kind of like it right here are the public observation areas open prior to sunset? The park is open 24 hours. They start collecting coins. Actually, it's a cashless system. They start swiping cards at the gate somewhere between 8 and 9. We've come through at 9 a.m. and nobody's been there. Um, so, I don't know. So, after, or before, let's just say before 7 o'clock, in the morning you could get in without having to pay if you come in after probably five or six you definitely be nobody at the gate six o'clock yeah, six o'clock I know when we come up on Tuesdays for after dark in the park uh, 5 30 5 there's nobody there rarely is anybody there oh wait I missed it I knew it I knew that I saw that is it erupting is there a chance of an eruption <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take a two-minute walk, just stretch my legs. I think Lance is shooting the sunrise. He'll be over after he gets done with that. Yep, he's pretty badass. He is. Yep. Splatter cone. Is that what we're calling this? I'll, I'll use that like that. Oh, absolutely. It is right now, that's for sure. Mm. That's the mystery, isn't it? Predictions are difficult. For a while, we thought we, it was going to just kind of break all apart and have a big hole in the wall. And uh, then it started looking like this. Now, I'm kind of curious on how high up the wall it can go. I'm going to have to get my buddy Ryan up here with his uh, golfing laser rangefinder. Get some distances. See if we can get the distance from the top of that cone to the top of the wall. How far does it have to go? It wasn't like this. Yeah. This is pretty spectacular. No, actually, Louie, I love the question of is it erupting as I'm standing watching an eruption. I, I love it. And, you know, I get it. You know, not everybody is as familiar with Kilauea as you all are, as we are, and are used to volcanoes similar to Etna, Fuego. Uh, what's another one? Mount St. Helens. Helens Popo Ketepeto. <laughs> um, you know, those, those are, you know, what you learn when you're a kid in, in the mainland around the world that's a volcano this is a little different that is a little mini etna as the lava kind of cools and does its thing i've been getting i've been seeing it in the chat and other stuff i've been looking at we'll get back on the hornito Kind of run around the caldera with the cameras and see what we can pick up. Oh, thank you for the reminder. If you are just joining us, thank you for finding us. Take one second, look down, and hit that thumbs up. 
Make sure that notification bell is hit so that you don't miss an upcoming live. We are Lou and Anna, Two Pineapples Live at Kilauea on the Big Island of Hawaii in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. This is the eruption of Kilauea. This is the second eruption of the year of Kilauea. Previous was January 5th. She paused off and started back up on June 7th at 4.44 a.m. There may be another official time, but that is my unofficial official time. If you dig volcanoes, you just like hanging out, whatever it is, think about hitting that big red button, the subscribe button. We are looking at 15K right in the face, and that is pretty awesome, very impressive. So help us get there. Uru, yep. Tubu, Etna, Vesuvius, Fuji, yep, Fuji, yep. Tracy, good morning, Indiana. Octo's in. I see uh, the second round is making their way in. Mariano, looks like from Brazil. Try to speak English. There is Google Translate. It is free on the internet now. Just go ahead and drop that in Translate. That would be great. My uh, my Espanol is más menos, and my Portuguese is not so good at all. Yesterday, as we were saying, there are hundreds. Tiggy dropped in there. There are hundreds of known volcanoes. Yesterday I was chatting a little bit and um, realized this is, how did I put it, uh, somebody was talking about how not impressed they were and I said, well, Kilauea has the fastest moving lava in the United States right now. It also is the hottest lava in the United States right now. And by what I'm looking at, it's pretty much an amazing sight. Des says, thank you for how quickly your merch is shipping. I'm super excited for my items to arrive next week. You're welcome, Des. We, and we had a, another supplier, and we switched gears and went with this company just for that reason a little bit, a little bit more reliable and uh, good service. And one perk about that merch store that we opened up is the items that we have in there I don't even know the number. Do you know? Is it 168 different items in there? It's, it's a lot. Everything from a coffee cup to a dog bandana. And uh, you can customize it. We have several the different logos. Onesies. The baby onesies, yes. You can get baby onesies. Do they make those in adult sizes? Yeah, they might. Okay. Uh, you can customize any of the logos that we have in there, locations on whatever you're putting it on, whether it's a shirt, a hat. You can choose the different logos. You can choose the size of the logo that you want on there. So everything is pretty, pretty cool to be able to customize it. We Check it out. A little bit more time, we'll add some more fun stuff. Yep, we as uh, things move, we have three more different logos that I've been working on. One is ready to go. Matter of fact, that was what I was talking with with a custom uh, for a one run, short run of some special gear of a certain logo that we want to put out. And um, a couple photos on for um, the logo, not the logo, how do you say it? Some photos on some gear. 
Yeah, photos. Yeah, or hats or Anna whatever. is uh, putting together her her uh, photos that she shoots on the side all the time to stack on gear. Will they be on pillows? Ooh. Can we get a couch pillow with this fountain on I it? I dream of lava. <laughs> Ben says, I love the stream, but i got to get some sleep. See you next time. Thanks, Benjamin. Appreciate you hanging out with us. And thank you all for hanging with us. Make sure you guys have hit that thumbs up. Grab that link. Text it to a buddy. Those who have never seen an eruption have got to see this. It is pretty cool. Thank you for Tiggy for taking care of that update. I should have popped me a frock in my back of some tender. Gotta put her on the payroll though. Tiggy? Yeah. That crazy yeah, makes me absolutely yeah. crazy yeah yeah forever yep Gary says where are the two pineapple logo located on the adult ones <laughs> easy easy we do know that we have three, uh, two junior highs and one high school class that have been showing our stream for the last four days consistently all day at school in the mainland. And there may be others, so I don't know. They normally don't put the chat up in there, but let's uh, keep her steady. Family friendly, please. Keep it steady. Angela says, I'd sure buy I'd sure buy those couch throw pillows. Gunmetal sectional being delivered this way. Right on. Very cool. I believe me when you should have seen Anna's face light up when I said couch pillows. Because like most women in this world, you all need 27 pillows on the couch and 47 on a bed. Of which I use one. You do not. You're okay, a liar. I used two. <laughs> Yeah, it would be pretty cool if you could stream Popoketepetl someday. Well, you know, we have a list of things we want to do and where we want to go. That Mexico volcano is a hike, which we're not afraid of, but it's a dirty, straight up the mountain hike. And we have to grow a little bit more. Yeah, we're going to, and I don't even know if we can get service at that location. I do know that we could rent donkeys. I did check on that. I'm going to move that top screen a little bit. I'm not touching that other camera. But the sun's coming up. What I'm going to do is do this first. You don't see me jumping. I'm going to add a filter, take that filter off, see what happens here. Uh-oh, we're going to get socked. It's socked in on the back side. Should I run and get the umbrellas? No, 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 no. I don't think... I don't know. Oh, the wind just picked up even more. Yeah, I still see a... Uh, a not a star, it looks like a planet back behind us. Look at that lava ooze. Yeah, it's 
incredible. Wow. Yeah, not enough light yet for that. Going back. Nothing, I just felt the vibration. You're all right, I just wasn't sure what if that was you or not. I need a pet rooster. I don't need a rooster. <laughs> I can't stand the roosters I hear on the road. Oh, somebody a few months back decided it would be really cool to get rid of, what they get rid of? Six of their chickens and two of their roosters on, uh, on our road. Dumped them there to, to struggle in life on their own and crow all night. And there's something about these roosters here. They don't care if it's 11 o'clock at night, whether it's a full moon or no moon. They're nuts. We've just crossed the 5 a.m. hour Thank you all for joining us. We're Lou and Anna, Two Pineapples Live, Kilauea, on the Big Island of Hawaii and Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Take a second, make sure you hit that thumbs up, the notification bell, and the big well, red button that says subscribe. We appreciate you all supporting us. We've been running four days straight now. We also have a 247 somewhere on YouTube. It's out there. Somebody might drop a link. You might see it. If you subscribe, you'll see it on our channel. When we're not up here streaming, we try to keep that thing going, especially now since we have a caldera full of lava. We changed a while back from our online server to a home server, but we do have it hooked up to backup batteries, solar, <clears throat> because we do lose power at the house often here in Hawaii, as well as internet service. So if she goes down, know that I will fire it back up as soon as I can. That's why we might have to rename that to like a, uh, we'll call it like a 16 slash 4, 22, 5 live stream. Do you feel the slight earth tremor about eight minutes ago? Um, no, I felt Ray next to me with his dog on the rail. I don't think it was an earth tremor here. Tell the roosters to stay off their phones and <laughs> yeah, these roosters here are something. I live in the middle of Iowa. Okay, I am on a one minute, two minute walk just to stretch out my back and uh, maybe do one of my yoga poses. What do you mean, oh God? Where's Ken at? Uh, we forgot the name that, that uh he was using for your, your, your frog something. Frognado? Ken Staggs, if you're here, <laughs> please remind us again. Wasn't no, it, it the, wasn't Frognado. It wasn't Frognado? No, no, Feels no. like Frognado. No. Well, that's the beauty of watching it. Uh, <laughs> 
if you're on Twitter tag at two pineapples three. Yes, we don't use our Twitter too much. We should probably uh, dial that in a little bit. I'm a big believer. The more that you get out there, the the harder the you push. The algo algorithm loves it. You felt three earthquakes here in Victoria in the past two years. Wow, that's it, huh? Really? Oh, she does. Oh, she's clearing out this one section between the house and the road and building a big um, tropical flower garden and pond all in there. Yeah, she's taken out about 12 tons of rubbish. All the, just, you know, everything, all the vivine and stuff growing in there. Dane, if you like, if you're coming to the park today, you can join me for a yoga session. We'll meet at Volcano House. They got a nice piece of grass right there. You and I, we can do some yoga stretches. <laughs> <laughs> Mars says, unfortunately, there are no birds of prey in Hawaii to take care of the stray rooster. That is false, Mars 2028. If you would watch us a little bit more on Tuesday nights at the After Dark in the Park show, we did a show a while back that you must have missed about anybody, anybody. Give them a second. I'm going to wait. Anybody knows? Anybody remember the show we did at After Dark in the Park on a Tuesday night? Uh, Tuesday night at. Why not? Why not? Hey, shh, shh. <laughs> don't spoil it. Anyone? Anyone remember? Let's see, is that the only bird of prey here? That is, isn't it? Oh, that's right. We have so we have two, and we've seen two of both of them on our property. Thank every you, day. Julie. Every day. Every single day. Look, Dane chickened out on the, uh. the yoga. <laughs> sort of sissy. Get up hey, here. Hey, be nice. <laughs> that's not very appropriate. <laughs> yes, Julie, we do have a hawk, and the hawk that we have here is the eel. Is that right? Yes. I think it's the eel. It is indigenous to Hawaii. There is only one other in existence off of the big island of Hawaii, and that is in the mainland, ah, oh, geez, oh, Mississippi at a zoo. It was born and raised in captivity, I think. That is it. We also have giant owls. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, white ones that hover around our house. Yeah. Towards the back side of the Yeah, that, the two of them that yeah. live in the back, in the mm -hmm. back part of the property. They've been there for, oh, a couple of years now. Yeah. But the barn owls, they're not indigenous, yeah. No, the barn owls aren't indigenous, no. So, yes, we do. And we uh, we hear those, those hawks over our house pretty mm -hmm. much every single mm -hmm. day. I've taken a few pictures of yeah. them, too, before. I think we I've have this, whoa, jug down. We have this, uh, ooh, I don't know, three, Ray, how high do you think that Norfolk what? pine is at my house? How tall that Norfolk is at my house? I don't know. 150 feet? Yeah. So we got this 100 and maybe 150 foot pine tree that's at our house, and the hawks love to get up top there and that's at my house. That's what they do. sit up in the pine, yeah. They love that thing. Waiting for a... a a mongoose, a rat, a chicken. cat, a chicken. They eat a lot of the chickens. They don't eat enough of them, but they do. Volcano Yoga. Oh, there we go. Volcano Yoga live stream with Dane DuPont and Louis Torrey <laughs> at 7 a.m. outside the lawn of Volcano House. Live. Oh, no, that's going to be a <laughs> sight for sore eyes. Oh yeah, they eat the doves too. Pigeons with GoPros mounted to them are predators too, apparently. Yes, they are. Good 
this. <laughs> I know, yeah. When we uh, were over end of the world, there must have been about 50 of them flying around. Wow, somebody let them out of their cage. Tiggy says she'd love a body pillow with lava shot on it. Thanks, that way I can get sleep hugging lava. <laughs> okay, I'll put that into the uh, the pillow department over here. Yeah, that's the overflow area. Hopefully they will have chicken dinner soon. I hope so. And that's probably that's probably where we've seen the, the chicken population that somebody dropped off on the road kind of decline from that six or eight to, what do you think, there's like four there now, five? No, there's more. Oh, they just hide. That's in the bushes. And one of them had babies. Baby chicken. Yeah. I'll zoom in into yoga and say my webcam bust. No, you're not going to. Matter of fact, next time I go into town, I'm going to grab you some yoga pants. Oh, no, I didn't. No kidding. Dang. Good morning, Neil. Good morning. You guys hear the birds? They are up and are awake, huh? See, we got some sun. It is. Kind of blown out in the back a little bit, not too bad. So we got some light coming in. You can see I just added that filter up on that top right screen. Need a little more sun and then we can start. We'll see a little bit different color happening. I'm gonna hold the screen, uh, the main screen, a while longer till we get a little bit more light, and things will uh, change. You guys like hummingbirds, huh? We'll have we have to dig out the hummingbird uh, videos we did while we were in Colombia, mm -hmm. right? There were so many of them there. Oh, yeah. No hummingbirds here. No. I got lots, don't worry. You got a great shot. Yeah, and I got the back, the whole wall. Too. Nope, no crows. Yeah, I'm just waiting for that light to change. I'm having difficulties too because that 
light. Yeah, light's changing every second right now. I'm gonna wait a second. All right, Dane, you have a good morning. Catch you later. Thanks for hanging with us and helping along the stream. I'll be waiting for you sometime after seven. We'll do that, do that yoga. Well, that took forever. You got it though. Yeah. Oh, that made my back hurt. Again. All right, I'm switching up here. All right, let's switch. Go up this. Go like this. Oops. Go like that. Done. There we go. A little gassy, but pretty amazing nonetheless. Let's back oh, this sorry. girl out of here. Yes. That's okay. <laughs> it's like fireworks. You see that bottom gurgle? It's no. getting a little bigger. On the floor? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see that. All right, there we go. Got those two screens back here. Whew. All right, how we doing? Sorry guys, Ann and I are both busy on cameras right now. Everything's changing as the sun comes up. That light changes every second now. Just to make sure things are working right. If I miss something, mods will probably pick it up. If not, ask again. We're uh, looking at sunrise, aren't we? Yeah, it's getting a little bigger, huh? It is, yep. Oh, that's why I didn't see this camera. There we go, we got enough light that you can see me now. Good morning everybody. Thanks for hanging with us. We're an hour and a half in. It is currently 5.23 a.m. Live here at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park in the Big Island of Hawaii. We are focused on the Kilauea eruption day four. We have had quite a show this morning. I think the uh, photographer next to me, my lovely wife, has said about six words the entire time. She's so focused on what she's doing. We're gonna get some cool video out today, I can tell. The current status of this volcano is yes, A, it's, she is erupting, B, it is spectacular, and C, I see that fountain in the front just picked up. I'm going to shut this off. I've got to get onto another camera. You see that? Yeah, I'm on there. <laughs> You're still getting used to it. Give her a new yeah. over there. <laughs> it's totally different, huh? All 
right, we're just watching that right there. That just picked up in the top right hand corner. That just lit right up. So definitely had some pressure coming in. Coming in. <laughs> coming in. Uh, I did for a little while. Anna's got that, yeah. We don't want to give it all up. Yeah. Lily Raven, hello fellow La Volcano observers. The event is reminding me of Cumbre Vieja, the eruption fountain and gas the top of sea lava sloping down. Yeah, this is uh, pretty cool. It's not a normal sight for us here, that's for sure. Dennis, apparently Hawaii does have morning doves, but they aren't as numerous as they are on the mainland. They were introduced back in the 60s. Yeah, we have a lot of dove at our house. I've, I've had lunch with many of them. <laughs> you are just on a roll of being cruel this morning. That's not being cruel, that's survival. <laughs> okay. Gotta do it, but I gotta do to survive. I gotta, I'm gonna make my circle. You stretch may, okay, your stretch your legs out. All right. Everyone get that image in your head. Mr. P doing his volcano yoga frog, please. Yes, please. We might put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> That's a great idea. And yeah. please text that to me because I tend to forget. <laughs> I forget easily. Text that to me, please. <laughs> that is hilarious. That'll be our thing. Oh, Ed's doing numbers 60 to 80 foot high. Whew, it's really kicking, huh? It's been a stellar morning. When we first got out here, it didn't look like that. It's just really picked up. The vent wall, that, that wall vent is getting stronger. Yeah, it's from the time we hit the stream go button at 4 a.m. to this point here, completely different. I like that shot with the fountain and the cone. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, look, okay. I'll show you now. Can you, you have time to look yet? Yep, yep. You can see the gas color. Oh, yeah. And then you can see the walls. That's why I want to see the background yeah. with them. I like it. Oh, that one. I like that one. Maybe we'll do that video of yours with just volcano sounds. The sounds of the eruption. Is that what it sounds like? <laughs> it's what I think it sounds like. <laughs> I'm going to make you a 46 hour video of just that vi that footage right there and this sound. Oh, no jack people crazy. Uh, some people love that.
<laughs> Making his rounds. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was us. But we got it. Oh, yeah. did you? Yeah, we, <laughs> we got, got it. it. Oh, yeah. Nice. yeah. That video is available in the gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> that's legit, man. Seriously. But that's neat how it is. Yeah, now. it's so. It was so pretty earlier. It's like a little mini like phone mm -hmm. volcano. Yeah. Just, <laughs> right. And it's like two hours, maybe an hour ago. It really just started going crazy. Like this. Yeah. Yeah. This is can't get enough of it, right? <laughs> nope. No way. <laughs> get the weekend off. You got to work. Uh, I have Sunday, Monday off. Oh, oh, just one more day. Off. It's not worth it. <laughs> right? That's right. Henry, good morning. It is a nice view of that. We do have a lot of light coming through. We're going to see some different colors, I'm sure, as the light changes. Hopefully, the we keep shooting through the gas. Ed is saying some important detail. Okay, let me scroll up here. All right, again, Lou, for you watching lava drop times. The current cone is shooting lava up about 100 foot from the rim. The height of the cone from the floor is about 250. I want to know what the height of the cone is from the top of the cone to the top of the wall, all the way up. That's four, I'm guessing, 1,200 more feet. 1,200 to 1,500 feet. So based on this current flow, we're looking at 27.6 years to overflow. There's your answer. It's one of the most common questions. When is it, it going to overflow? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that and the other one I got last night was um, when is it going to explode? Oh, yeah, we get that. Yeah. Well, yeah, I just got one. When's it going to erupt? Yes, they get yes. That, that yeah. For the record, I don't normally feel anybody is in danger around here, except for the SO2 that may be pushing through Kau or through Kona. Those that have asthma, you know, take care of yourself. Otherwise, everybody here is safe. All the lava is contained within the caldera. The only danger that I feel is my wife. She is about 15 feet from me, and she could go off on me at any time. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, by the time it gets over there, I've heard a lot. Yeah. Thank you, Tiggy. Everyone is different. Everyone. Everyone. Yeah. The only thing that is that I've found so far to be the same is we have the pond back. Yeah. That's it. But everything's always it's always different. That's the great part of it. Yeah. 
Yeah. And the island is still there. Okay. Yeah, the island is there. I mean, it's not really an island. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the area that was the island. I remember that. We need to put islands up here. We have to put it. I was already back to the office. I didn't see. Somebody came in and goes, Where's your office? That's on the side of the wall. It's like, you won't go down the side of the wall. <laughs> no, it's not. Turn up. Now it's not that big time. Yeah, it's it's gotten huge from day one. Yeah, that's the beauty of being over here at Waldron's Ledge is we have the birds. We don't really get them on any other point. We will catch the nene once in a while on the other points. There's two nene that kind of creep through. They'll fly through here about this time in the morning. There was a group of five or six that would fly through pretty much after them. Uh, every day we were here. I haven't seen the group of five or six since we've been up for the last four days. We have seen the two flying. Yesterday they flew about 10 feet over our head. No, sorry Tiggy, I don't think Ray can do yoga. If he gets down on the ground, we're gonna have to call emergency services. No, get out of here. Now you challenge him. Oh yeah, he's gonna. I would uh, give your radio on you. You're going to have to prepare for emergency <laughs> services. <laughs> uh -huh. From now on, while Ray's here, we should have EMS on standby. My eyes. <laughs> now you're going to have everybody visualizing you yeah. guys up here doing yoga. This. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's why we moved over here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nobody, nobody. There's. No, is there a sign in the visitor parking lot? There is. There is, huh? The same. The small ones that point this way. Yeah. Everybody always says, "Use better." It's that B word. People hear that B word. Yeah. That's the only place they want to be. Yeah. Works for us. Right. Yeah. Works for us. I would have to pick the other side. Yeah. After the last couple mornings of this. I haven't seen her today. We didn't see her the last two days. This is a long... Well, what? she's been over there. Right? Yeah. But I figured at some point, because she doesn't really like the crowd here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, this is a huge shot. This is 2.2 miles to that cone. That's a long shot. Okay. Battery number two. Oh, I'm losing this here. Come on. I'm thinking it's not working so well. No, you can't. Nope. <laughs> it's a long hike to miss it. <laughs> right? If that's the only place you go, you're missing one of the best Well, that's the highlight of this eruption so far. Absolutely, 100%. Good morning, Carl. I'm working cameras here. We got light and and fog and uh, clouds on us, and the sun is coming up fast. So, if you guys have a question in the chat, I can't see it. I'm just standing on the side, so let the mods handle that. Photos to see if I can catch both. No, 
fountain and the bubble on the bottom together. Oh, nice. All right, Jason, good morning. I'm going to wake up early, come out, and then I um, go back home, take a nap, and then come back. Aloha. Catch Aloha. you later. Yeah, stay warm, guys. Absolutely. <laughs> He's got droopy eyes. It says the uh, main caldera room is about 400, no, 400, 4,100 feet elevation. Oh, I gotta move back up. It's moving so fast. Hold on. Current lava lake surface is 3,000 to 3,100 feet elevation. Did you get that? Me? Mm -hmm. No, what was that? Oh, you can scroll up. Yeah. Okay. Here. Working um, cameras here. <laughs> He says, getting my estimates from gravity. All right, sorry guys, I was trying to dial this camera in and working with some uh, lighting. Whew! What happened? Everything's good? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you said, Ed said that the... Uh, an estimation, you have to scroll up a bit and then you'll... Main caldera rim is at 1,400, 4,100 foot elevation. Current lava lake surface is 3,000 to 3,100 foot. Do the math. Nice. So, right around at this flow layer, at this flow rate, 26.8 years. Maybe a week or two after that. If you are just coming in, welcome. If you're new to the channel, look down, hit that thumbs up, the notification bell, and that big red button subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. We're Lou and Anna, two pineapples. We are live here at day four at Kilauea. It is currently erupting. If you read it through the chat, one of our mods and very good friends, Skadget Ed, is dropping some numbers there on what that cone height is, the wall height. All the lava is contained within the caldera. Nobody is in danger except for the SO2 that's coming out that was reported at 21,000 tons. And that is traveling through Pahala to the south and west and wraps around the island and hits Kona and goes up the chain all the way up to Oahu. If you have allergies, asthma, you will be affected a little bit, so be prepared. Other than that, we don't really have any new numbers until the morning update. The previous report was yesterday at 8.35 a.m. ish, right around there. So now that we're getting a little bit more light, we're gonna move this camera in just a fuzz. Not 
too much. Not too much. Maybe that's too much. Top camera is down into the caldera itself. The top right screen you see. I'll pan out so you can see that. We are standing at Waldron's Ledge, as you just saw on that top right screen. We are 2.2 miles-ish away from the eruption. We are not in any danger. Other than, like I said, myself, with my wife next to me, she could go off at any time. You know... <laughs> you be careful now. Uh, you be careful. You got the birds singing. I have just popped up on the screen. You can see the trees behind us. This is Waldron's Ledge right here. It's all pavement. This is the only all pavement wheelchair accessible area. The other places are pretty wheelchair friendly. You just got a little bit of gravel to go on. This is probably the best view in the house right here. Volcano House um, does have a view out there. Of course, we don't set up over there. We are um, tucked over here where really we've seen four people today, if that. So make sure you hit that thumbs up. We're coming up on an hour, 45 minutes. We're not going anywhere. We're just checking in, giving you a little update. You're gonna hear us going in and out. I'm gonna be working cameras. We've got three running right now. Battery levels are looking good on everything as I thought it'd be a good idea to check that. And it is quiet this morning, Dennis. She has, because of what's been going on with that, uh, with the eruption, the sights are absolutely amazing. She has not said much more than about 12 words she is getting as much film as she possibly can and pictures for uh, Tiggy's Huggy Pillow. <laughs> and the rest of you ladies who need the 27 couch pillows with lava on them. You know, you, you better watch yourself. You better watch out, buddy. <laughs> See what I mean? She She's the only uh, eruption I worry about going off. <laughs> you are just, oh, man. I think I'll try to start some You're cherry lucky trees. You got a ray over there to back you up. <laughs> well, we got a cherry tree. What do you call that cherry tree at our house? Suriname. Suriname. I'm not a big fan of it. It's kind of tastes like diesel fuel. Okay, you. <laughs> you got to be a weird individual to like those. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Oh, that's another one. Oh. Noni is another Everybody one that's tough. Everybody has their own taste and flavor and, and likes, so yeah. it's totally okay. Rita says, Waldron's <laughs> Ledge is one of my favorite places in Hawaiian Volcanoes National Park. It's a great place, huh? It really is, and we were just talking to somebody here about that, how it's just not visited as much as all the other points. People just park. They'll park at the visitor center. They'll walk across the Volcano House, and then they'll walk out to the ledge or viewing points from there. They'll walk to the sulfur banks but they just won't walk over in this direction, which works out well for us. To the left of us is Kilauea Iki, and around the other side is the other viewing point, um, the Devastation Trail parking lot, hiked down about a mile in, it's about 20 minutes. It's a great location also. We've spent many hundreds of hours over there maybe. Uh, right now you cannot see this uh what you're seeing now did we give it an official name splatter cone i saw dane had said something tiggy what was dane's official on that one yeah james really built up a cone do they expect it, that cone to collapse thanks you guys yeah um, i did actually i expected it to collapse but instead it just kept growing Uh, Aurelio with a four dollar super chat. Thank you very much, Aurelio. For the coffee. Check it out. I'm gonna give it to you. Let's see if I got it in here. 
since we had the melee with the uh, uh, issues, the last, one of the, was a second stream, <laughs> first or second stream. I've had to rebuild everything, but I still have it all in here. So let me put it up here. Auto hide, 10 seconds. There you go. Thank you, Aurelio, for the $4 super chat. There you go. I think so. Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> the only thing I say over there is. Ooh. I know. <laughs> <laughs> here, get in here. Say hi to everybody. She actually hi. is here. I'm over that side. She's just over there. The only thing I keep murmuring to myself is. <laughs> Ooh, ah, love. So we, we roll up this morning and uh, I just kind of take a, we get, we bring up our, our gear here and I'm like, I'll be right back. I'm going to walk over here and see if I get a better angle. And I'm gone for three minutes or four minutes and I walk back and she's just standing there, just standing right here. <laughs> No gear set up, no nothing. I was just watching the I said, lava. I said, are you He's, all right? I was like, I'm fine, I'm watching the lava, leave me alone. Like, are we going to get to work or what? <laughs> it, was, it was really pretty this morning. When we first got here, it was gorgeous. So that's so. been her whole morning, stand in silence. Like this. Yeah, it's been crazy <laughs> like that. Dane said, cinder and splatter are acceptable. Got it. Thank you, Tiggy. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. We're on no copyright strikes over here. <laughs> Got to watch our monetization. Start getting weird noises and sounds. I start singing, and all heck breaks loose. Oh, good. Then they can't, think. well, then I'm double dipping. <laughs> Thanks, Tammy. We appreciate all of you. This would not happen without all of you watching. All of our volcano channels out there that support us, HawaiiTracker.com, Hawaii Pod, Volcano Verse, Dr. Fox 2000, Geology Hub, Bob Nation. You guys all support us. We really appreciate it. As well as all of our subscribers and members that have been with us since December of 2020. Thank you so much for everything you've done for us. And if you want to keep supporting us, we do have a new merch store open. There's about 180 different items to choose from, all customizable. And they are not sponsoring our stream this, this morning, but uh, tour boat in Kona, if you are just visiting, specifically for the volcano or just happen to be here is sunlight on water check them out for the manta rays ocean adventures mention two pineapples you'll get a nice discount and you'll have a great time they have fresh fruit snacks and juice and all the good stuff on the boat for you they've got all the diet the snorkel gear the wetsuits the, they got hot water when you get out of the water to rinse off with fresh hot water they've got hot tea and cocoa on the ride in after the manta rays it is a great trip. So check them out, Sunlight on Water. They're not sponsoring us today, but they do, and you should check them out. Maybe this is gonna be the new Puo in 30 years. Well, <laughs> it's sure looking like it's starting to be something, that's for sure. Antic. I like that big rig you got there on your uh, thumbnail. Mechanic 808. Ain't supposed to be UFOs flying around an active volcano. <laughs> well, there are. Have you got any kind of like overlay or anything, 
No, no. Forty foot. Well, because I mean, it's drinking definitely. It's just as he's saying now, it's what four hundred. Yeah. That definitely can be some part of the landmark that we can actually lap something. Mm hmm. The rocks and that throws you seriously. Is this still confined to the crater? Yes, all lava is confined to the caldera. The only thing that is leaving the caldera is the emissions. That is it. They're traveling over Kau, around Kona, and up the island chain. All lava is contained within the caldera. There's no emergency evacuations. Everybody's fine. Everybody's safe. There's not, it is not expected to leave the caldera at any time soon. I would be extremely surprised if it leaves the caldera in any of our lifetimes at this pace. It's going to take a lot. But we are, the, the floor is rising. When we started filming in 2020, you couldn't stand on a ledge and see into the caldera like this. This is pretty much, you can stand anywhere around this caldera and see inside. It's an amazing sight. Yeah, even last year. Yeah. It wasn't until like March of last year where we were actually able to stand here at Waldron's. That was it, devastation, yep. That wind is brutal yeah, right wind now. just kicked up. Ooh. And you, you know what I realized? I didn't put on my thick socks. Mm. I was just in a fog this morning, I guess. Still in the caldera, but the cone is right where this Southwest Rift Zone starts. And so it makes it interesting for future eruptions. It does. I, that's some of the questions and comments I've been watching around the, the horn on how this is connected to the southwest drift zone and what could happen to it. All very good questions that we hope to have some type of answer for. That's true. I agree, Julie. Lake is more active now. Uh... I don't know if it's more active now. It's it's going pretty good. I mean, I'm gonna pan up. I'll zoom out on this cam here. And we saw back in January during the day when she was going good. We could see this whole bowl shooting, popping with lava, even with the sun up. Now as the sun comes up, you can see the floor kind of disappears into, into darkness. You can't see that glow as well anymore. And of course, we only have a horseshoe of lava, so we'll only be looking for lava around the edges. Pineapples repeat estimate based on this chart. I'll have to look at that later, Ed. I can't hit a, a Google search on this thing here. In, uh, college near Mount St. Helens. Oh, I, that was a big one, huh? If all the magma going to Kilauea goes into the caldera, then it will fill to overflow the caldera in 10 years, maybe 15, but it will probably drain out somewhere before it flows. So you predicted a possibility with a contingency plan. 
<laughs> oh wait, here we go, there's more. But it will probably drain out somewhere before it overflows. Also doesn't mean another 2018, there will be lots of draining lakes without a lower east rift zone eruption. Okay, that's uh, that's something. So, um, I'll put that on the whiteboard. <laughs> Check that in 10. Dennis was two years old when Mount St. Helens blew. Wow. Shoot, back then, National Geographic was about the only uh, ones that had pictures. And I mean, there was a few people with some Kodaks, Polaroids, and uh, a few old home job video cameras, right? Look what we've got now. Everybody walking around with a, a 4K video camera in their hand. Hey, Mount Lassen. That's where I learned to ski. Maybe why don't the state or business put a geothermal energy plant near the volcano? We have one. Uh, it's down in Leilani. And there's a lot of controversy with that. They want to expand the geothermal plant with new equipment, but the inhabitants that are near there say it's noisy, it disturbs the birds. Yeah, I think the birds are going through special therapy to deal with the noise of the geothermal plant. And with the elimination of coal coming to the islands, we can all be expecting to uh, rub sticks together for power pretty soon. Davy Van De Ven says, you will get a family community when the volcano keeps boiling. Everyone's coming back to your channel. Thanks for the vids. We damn like it a lot. Well, we damn appreciate it. <laughs> you have to say it. Well, that's what it said. <laughs> I'm just reading the, the message. That was a nice message, so I threw a little extra flair into it. I guess the coffee into it. kicked in for you. Uh, are you saying that I maybe have drank too much coffee this morning? See, it's still got some in there. That's your second bottle. Okay, who's keeping score <laughs> here? Oh, yeah, I'm going to have a biscuit now, thanks to you. Oh, I'll take one, too. You want one? Is it noisy? Yeah, I'll take one. Is it noisy? No, the only noise we hear... Well, the only noise I hear is uh, wind and my wife. Ray Biscuits from Ray. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have breakfast. <laughs> well, that's good, Ray. Mm. Thank mm -hmm. you. That is delicious. Mmm. She put some lemon zest in there, yeah, huh? Yeah, it was really good. I Dennis, I agree. Zest. All homes should have a small wind time or turbine, oh my. solar. This is delicious. You know, we have um, we have solar partial partial for a house. All our computers now are all solar. Susan, I'm talking pretty loud. So you can turn check your mic. Everybody, everybody do an audio check for me. One. Mmm. So that's me eating. Mm-hmm. Three. All right. Everybody should have solar, some si some type of solar, some type of wind. We have a pretty consistent trade wind here. I would love to do some solar. You know, I am uh, very good friends with Jerry. He helps me rig up everything. Spent a little time with him yesterday. Oh. Yeah, today I'll be, uh, actually I'm gonna be working with Jerry and Bob today. Because I'm going to be doing a little more rigging. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I want to see if anybody catches your joke. <laughs> Davey, these are biscuits from our friend over here, Ray. Bonnie made them. His, His wife, wife made us some biscuits. And they're delicious. I'm telling you right now. And he's eating them too, so it looks like we have one less now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Mm. <laughs> okay. That's a damn good biscuit. We go nuts for donuts. Oh my gosh. Let's see here. Uh, currently the weather is 57 degrees. Maybe a little bit, maybe maybe closer to 60, but the wind is kicking at about 10, 15 miles an hour, coming, blowing on our back straight over the top of us. That's what's nice, it keeps the bog out of our face. It's chilly. I am only wearing one pair of socks, but I do have my hot chilly thermal pants on. <laughs> so my my digits are getting a little cold down low. Do you need some warmers? No. Oh, you make, Oh, I could shove those hand warmers in my sh my boots, huh? No thanks. <laughs> These biscuits were. Um, yeah, let me see where. May have one more. Oh. You know, he said he didn't want another one, right? That's his excuse. He wants to show you so he can eat another one without telling you. Go back. Go back to your camera. <laughs> All morning she's over at her camera. Now she's got to come over here and disturb me. Let's see if I can get in here. There we go. Mm -hmm. Right there. I was looking at the wrong screen. So, what do we have in here? Cranberries? And lemon zest. Uh -huh. I can taste, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Yeah, really good. Mmm, we love the malasadas. Uh-uh. Yep, now I know what you're talking about. Mm hmm. Ripple's getting bigger down there. <laughs> Malasadas, Manapuas. Oh, so dreamy. While I'm eating, I'm just putting up your texts in the chat room because my mouth is full. <laughs> <laughs> They are delicious. They're moist, they're crisp, sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like a scone. Yeah. Well, that's what it is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just teasing me. Oh, I'm keeping score how many everybody has around me. <laughs> Don't you worry. Making everyone oh, hungry. <laughs> that was really good. Yeah, that was. So you can water the dog? That's the dog. Oh, the, that's the dog. Oh. I didn't bring a bowl for the dog. I was going to get water after. Oh, should I help you eat the rest? Sure. <laughs> Put those in something so you can get the dog. Yeah, I know. I'm yeah. just, I was just joking. So what we have. I have bags. You got bags? I always carry trash bags. Yesterday, Ray, we were up here. As a friendly reminder, if you are coming up to the park, right the really? please stop by you know, and see us. You're more than welcome to bring biscuits, coffee, tacos, burritos, malasadas. We're happy to eat anything that you bring up within reason.
Just a reminder. Are you shoving cookies in your jacket? Giving me the sad eyes. <coughs> oh, yes, I forgot, NorCal Public Watch. Thank you for the reminder. Please bring poke. Mm, oh, uh -huh. what are you guys doing? If you bring poke, no. you, you better bring a lot. If you bring poke, <laughs> you'll be my best friend forever. Anything? No. I had to revise that. Not just, you know what? Bring up anything. If you've listened to me long enough, if you've, I eat anything mm. once. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, I gotta stretch my back. Do a walk around. Yep. That's what I'll I did. Be back. I did a fast paced walk around. I gotta go house. stretch my back. Lou was quick to add with reason. That's right. Within reason, Ed. Within reason. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna push pause. Huh? <laughs> He's actually hey. no <laughs> witness, you guys. Lou's actually I'm over there do doing yoga, yoga. I swear. And Ray's watching. He, <laughs> did you hear him? He said, that is scary. <laughs> He's doing the, I swear, I wish I could record it. But if I move the camera, oh my. That was funny. <laughs> that was hilarious. I know you want to use that one. I know you want to use that move, Ray. But it's not, it's not, <laughs> but it's not like he's like carved of marble. It's just like I'm, being back and it was like... It was impressive though, wasn't it? I saw every course mighty every reminder. <laughs> Ed, we got we you have to set, make sure you text me that that name of that yoga pose that we're I'm gonna put on t shirts. <laughs> I'll, I'll design or that something. Frog something. I'll put what something is that? In, that was uh, so funny. I'll put something in uh Photoshop together for No, that. you guys should have seen Ray's face. He looked over, his jaw dropped like that is so weird. Whoa. I'm an impressive example of mankind. No. Draws extreme attention in my direction. Don't let anyone punch your <laughs> 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 no, um, we will go. I haven't scrolled through the um, stream from yesterday yet. We'll get that name. Yeah, we'll get it. If Ken comes in, he might remember. Yeah. <laughs> Ken Staggs. That was hilarious. We have to do that. That's mm -hmm. a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll personalize them, make them kind of look like me and Dane <laughs> with yoga pants. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my. The National Park Service I'm gonna go back advises to my corner do not now feed the streamers. Take this anymore. You gotta feed us. We need food, Aurelio. Well, we got a heck of a view this morning, didn't oh, we? Yeah. That was pretty amazing. Those mountains must be so high. Oh, I just saw some birds shot. Oh, bye. I'm, w I'm hoping the Nene make their way over. I know. If they do, I'm going to get them on camera. Oh, we okay. actually. Uh, we did catch some Nene one time, and uh, we put that video up there. Actually, I put it on Reddit, and I got just hammered with, oh, big deal, birds, blah, 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 
<laughs> and you know, all I see now is everybody posting pictures of the Nene flying around the volcano. So why did they get upset? I don't know. Because I'm the one that captured it. Oh yeah, they have something against her. <laughs> Everybody's against me. Yeah. Mm hmm See, we got we already got orders coming in for the shirts. <laughs> With the downward facing frog. The frog NATO of me and Dane. It was not frog NATO. <laughs> Don't do that. We'll find it. We'll find it. Yeah, Tiggy, those walls are steep. We've lost a few uh, locals and tourists that have gotten too close to them walls. And there's no, uh, there's no climbing up to get out, and there's no somebody going to get you quick. It's a long, long, long fall. Ooh, would you see that? Um, the front right part? here. Open the, oh, you have it out here, mm -hmm. so it's on there. Up in the upper right corner. So the bottom opened up a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, right there. Yep, oh, I see it now. They were jealous, <laughs> yeah. Actually, we've caught a couple different birds going through the volcano. Try to get Dan to do yoga with you, but he declined. Yeah, it's not easy to get individuals to participate. Or Dane. I know, I saw that. I know. One of these Don't worry. Days, I'll talk him into it. If I was ready, I would have taken a picture. <laughs> and with Ray's face looking at you, I should have taken a picture. <laughs> Tell you what I'm gonna do next time I'm with Dane, when Anna's with me. No. Nope. I'm gonna drop Leave something on out. the ground out in front of him and make him stretch out for it. Sucker him into it. He'll never even know. He'll never even know. He'll just go right straight into the frog pose. <laughs> I'll get him. No. All right, let's uh, let's move a camera in and out and see what we've got we're losing visibility all over the place we got good viz down low here tripped over that tripod. Well, we got that fixed. We're zoomed in there. Replay the moment Lou and Ray. So Anna can take me. Okay. <laughs> no. Too late. Good morning, Tony. There's Sage Pup. Morning, Arcata J says, ooh, just found you. Mahalo, Madam Pele, and her two pineapples. Thank you for joining us. If you're just joining us, Take a second, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you got that notification bell hit so you don't miss the next live stream. I'm looking for it. Here it is. We're gonna, for our pooch lovers out there, I'll give you this one this morning. Go ahead and make sure that thumbs up's hit. Subscribe and the notification bell. Thank you, Fido. Good morning, Anna from Oahu. It's funny how everybody, you see the waves of people that come in, you know, every 30, 20 minutes. All of a sudden it's like 10, 20. It's like the, that's when the notification bell goes out or it ends up in your browser yeah, on YouTube. A couple. Um, Can you see where, where people are watching from? No, um, in the 
if I go deep into the logistics or the statistics, I can, but not up here. Yeah, they'll give you the percentage um, curious, like, of which the place. Yeah. Are, it's like, yeah. You know, seven o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning. Oh you know, no. Um, No, that would be a nice feature, but I think we have enough going on. No, no, no. I'm yeah. Just, no, what I'm saying is you say you're seeing waves. Oh, yeah. So it's the wave of like, oh, right. know, like California, Canada, stuff. or you, know, right. We thought we knew that rhythm or that pattern because when we, when we start up at four, we are getting all the eastern United States, eastern Canada, and Europe. Right. And then as, as 7 o'clock comes, we definitely start seeing the west coast of California, Washington. But so many of our Ohana here, a lot of our subscribers know that they're going to wake up at they're gonna wake up at 1 o'clock in the morning if we go live. Oh, yeah. I think you can still walk that trail to oh, kil yeah. from Kilauea Iki. Oops, sorry, but I moved it. I pushed it by yeah, accident. You did. I know that down below there is the, um, can you see the pylons down there? Let me see if I know who that is. Probably checking if anybody's down there. Everybody's still safe, everything, all the lava is contained within the caldera. There is no risk of it leaving the caldera anytime soon. The only thing is please, if you are in uh, Kau, Kona, up the island chain, if you have asthma, allergies, be aware that we do have some heavy fog that's coming out of here. Our SO2 is at 21,000 tons, that was reported yesterday. Thick enough to really cause some problems if you have any underlying conditions. That I forgot yesterday. I did. So I'm going forever now. Yeah. I could tell by how happy you were. <laughs> I was not <laughs> happy yesterday. <laughs> I ran out of juice. And if you noticed, it is 6 30. Uh, we've been streaming for two hours and 22 minutes. That's a little longer than we made it yesterday because of the throttling by the park with all the people in here. We're not saying that's bad. I mean, everybody's here enjoying themselves. FaceTime and family that they're here at a live eruption in Hawaii. Taking pictures, uploading. What that does is it throttles our system. But, and uh, just like everybody else, you know, get a little bit of spinning. But part of my uh, work with Jerry yesterday was... <laughs> Um, working on the bonding between different um, SIM cards so that I could get a stronger signal going and keep things <laughs> as strong as possible. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Twister, good morning. Aloha. I, mean, I may have just jinxed myself, but it's two hours and 22 minutes in and we're losing view, so I can get away with it. Well, I still got great view. I still got great view, although that top camera, the top right camera is looking yeah. nice. Good Except morning, Breezy. I it. Yeah, I put it over there to, to be safe. 
he found it. I think I'm just going to focus on what I'm doing over here, not talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> so shall we stick here at this cone or shall we take a little trip around the, the caldera? What do you say? Hmm. Actually, we're cleared up. I'm not going to move quite yet. I'm going to go in a little. Let's see if we can see anything happening in there. Yeah, game changer, huh? Whew, that is a long shot. Whew, I am stretched out. But I got it, I mean. Ooh, that still looks nice. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Can we wander? We can wander. I just wanted to, I'm going to use that top right <coughs> tour, tour, tour. Okay. Shall we have the, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to use the top Give screen. Trouble. Um, I'll blow it up a little it's bit more first. It's fun when I'm doing it when you're not here. I know. Right. I ruin everything. Yeah, you do. Okay, I blew that up a little bit. We'll go top right. Let's take a All trip. All right, let's go. Fasten your seatbelts, everyone. You know the drill. Ooh. Well, the first thing, mm -hmm. I wonder if we can see. Tools? I'm going to go all the way up over to that lookout. I don't know. I got see if a, anybody's there. I got an Ohia right in front of me. So this is coming up on the lookout at Devastation Trail. Got to split the split the branch. Oh, won't let me get through the branch. <laughs> I know. Maybe that's funny. We're back out of there. <laughs> That branch was a half mile away. If you're there, I can't read the chat, and Anna's not watching it either, so you're on your own. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice there. Okay, I'm back over here. Doing a little... Look on the floor, Caldor floor there, where that trail is going, huh? Yeah. Ooh.
There's our pond, right? Mm-hmm. Ooh. That's all I got. Ooh. Because <laughs> it looks cool. Coming up on that's the overflow area right there. Are those rocks new? Are those boulders new? Yeah, it looks. I don't remember the colors seeing look those. fresh and hot. Yeah. Like, kind of. Ooh. Somebody grab a screenshot for me. Here, I'm gonna go full screen real quick. Send me. Let's see my screen here. Grab me a screenshot of that and put it on Discord for me, please. Five, four, three. Two one. <laughs> All right, back at it. Thank you. You want a full screen of that too? No, we're good. Don't mind the wobbling, it's somebody's bear that's got on a leash over there. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. I think that dog wants some biscuits. No, there's another dog over there on the other side. Push this button right here, okay? No, that doesn't do anything. Oh. Um, there's the mute right there.
Okay, audio check. Can you guys hear me? Sound check, sound check, please. Look at that, we found something here. Yeah, hit the, the screen here for a second. Yeah. That gives me a chance to really move things around. Full screen. Full screen. Get there. All right. Ooh. Look what we found. Found a little something. Woo. Ooh, look at that. Mahalo, everyone. They can hear us now. Perfect. I'm not going to go. Bonuses That's... of wandering. Ooh. Okay, let me get in here real quick, and I'm going to do this. Ooh, you're still on the ooze. Okay. I can say ooh, or I can keep saying amazing a million times. <laughs> no, I like the ooze. Okay, I'm going to leave the splatter cone up top. There's that. Ms. L's with you on the ooze. <laughs> it's either that or amazing. She likes the ooze. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. There's that. Let um, me go back to the picture in picture. Got the volcano. Da, 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 da. That's up in the corner. Woo! Found something. Thank you very much. Takes a bow. Takes a bow. Good catch. I don't get a bow Heck yeah, Jonas. I'm searching for stuff. No, you get high fives. It's different. Selfish. We love a good lava fall. Yes, we do. And we found it. Woo! Somebody do a time check, uh, recording 152.03, live hour mark, 2 hours, 36 minutes, 29 seconds. We got that, and we're, look at the smoke coming out of the top of that. Ooh, look at that smoke. She's smoking. Got a smoker over there. Yeah, I'm with you on that, Ed. She's going to grow. Once, uh, unless she's just dumping back into the, into the reservoir, that, I mean, I don't know. Is she filling up that pond? Is that the, it's the pond. I don't know. We're going to see. We may see some of it today. We hang on long enough. I'm seeing a lot of cool comments. Right on. I'm 100% juiced on everything still. Erupting lava. Yep. And the top right screen is our spatter cone in the back there. Started just smoking like crazy. So dreamy. And you did kick audio back on, yeah? Yes, I did. Everybody still gave me the thumbs up and Good. the pineapples. You're juiced, DDW65. I'm juiced up. <laughs> that flower in the energy is quick. That biscuits is quick energy. Yeah, it is. That is one of the beauties of being able to hang on for a few hours. So many things changed for us from coming up here the first thing this morning, where it was just kind of, you know, mellow. Then all of a sudden that spotter cone just went nuts. Got a great, great views on that. The tour around the caldera, and here we go with the lava falls. Just it all, I was like, do, do it with the dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Atwater Smith is on there. Hey. There they are. The couple we met yesterday. Yep. We had a good long conversation. It was awesome and fun. Yeah, fun hanging out Great with you guys laughs. yesterday. Mm -hmm. Been a fan of ours for a very long time now. Yep. As a matter of fact, when I was sitting at the computer doing my work at Watersmith Adventuring, 
I was going through your shorts <laughs> and I saw one of your shorts and I saw some tunes in there sounded kind of familiar. <laughs> right on. I think it was Tiki Meditation, yeah, it was tiki right? Torch, yeah. That was awesome. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool. Nero, people are safe. This, this lava is contained within the caldera. There's no, there's no uh, warnings that it's going to leave. There's no emergency proclamations or anything that have been put in place. The only thing we're advising that there is a lot of SO2 that's leaving. So if you are living here or traveling here and you have underlying symptoms of asthma of something sort like that, um, please be aware. You may feel it. Everyone say hi to Atwater Smith. <laughs> you or the dog? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's scary. Look at his paw. But he's a sweetheart. He just looks like a big, big, big dog. His paws are huge. Oh, it is, it's a great view. We are focused in on, uh, it looks to be this lava fall into the pond. Oh, look at the splattering happen now. It's starting Ooh, to fill up. Okay, I'm gonna we did a 10-minute tour or so around the caldera, just looking for uh, anything interesting, suspicious, or whatever. And we found this. You know what? I got a great idea. Oh, here we go. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to take one of my pictures. You know what I'm going to put on there? Ooh. Yeah, there you go. There you go. With that beanie on your head. <laughs> Adding that to the books. Good, oh, I'm funny. Good morning, Piggy. We don't smell anything here. The wind is blowing on our backs, pushing straight across the caldera. So it's pushing all of any type of fog, smoke, anything um, away from us. Good morning, Hermione. Besides for having all the cameras, the different angles that we can do, the, the next best is being able to go for long periods just for this. This has probably been a, one of the funnest things we've to been catch, able to yeah. show everybody is like, look, we, we can leave on one camera so we have a good shot for you to watch, but then we can also, you know, tour bus around the inside of the caldera with the other camera looking for anything like this. It was pushing a lot harder, it's starting to cool oh, now. Okay. Yeah, we'll see, but it might break open again. We'll see. Is it closing or is it cooling? <laughs> Morning, Subi. Hey, Mike. Everybody's, uh, all the mods are taking their uh, turns, <laughs> taking breaks. Mod break. <laughs> We're on almost three hours. Everyone's getting up, stretch, <laughs> refill on drink, all that good stuff. <laughs> We have much appreciation for our mods, especially during eruption times. Uh, they are very busy. Oh, we just opened up right there. Gas just pushed hard right there. Sorry, I didn't do anything but just grab the camera and move it. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> but that just came straight up. What? Wawa. Yeah, that came out of nowhere. I just happened to look over the top of the computer. Yeah, we uh, mods stretched their legs pretty hard during the Mauna Loa run. Yeah. 
I mean, I want to say we did too. We went 11 days straight, but they worked 24 <laughs> seven. Yeah, sorry guys. That was a quick one, but when it happens, no, it happens, they're, right? They're okay, look, they're like, ooh, ah, whoa, see? <laughs> <laughs> Sound effects are awesome. If we see it happen, we just gotta go for it. Meribet Pili, mahalo for the great views. You're welcome. I'm stretching my legs at the moment, mm -hmm. one at a time. Occasional big gusts. All right, back to the right corner. Right top corner, I'll use this camera over here to see what we can find. I'm gonna move this up. Please fasten your seat belts. Now's a great time to take your draw on me. <laughs> yeah, temps are still low. I think it's because that breeze is still whipping. I don't know. Tiggy, don't do that to Sam. Go feed him. <laughs> I've already put my cam away. I'm all good. I can watch. Oh yeah, Sam ain't moving. He's comfy. <laughs> Let me see. He ain't moving. Hey, do you still have uh, juice on your egg timer? Yeah. You want it? Just letting you know it's heavy. So uh, if you attach all that yeah. other stuff. Uh, yeah. Next time. Yeah. I only used it twice. did a, a dark shot and a lighter as the sun was coming up shot. Oh, right on. Yeah, it would be nice to put it on there and just kind of mm -hmm. around. Whew. Oh, morning. actually less people here this morning than yesterday. Mm -hmm. We saw maybe six people total. Well, I'm not shown. Aurelio, are you still awake?
in the top right corner, you will see some of the last live views of the Jagger Museum. They are going to destroy that and half the parking lot up there to make way for more parking lot. They didn't say that they were going to put any, I don't know what else they're going to put up there. I haven't heard. I'm assuming maybe a bathroom. But in 2018, the earthquakes just rattled that place apart. They feel it's unsafe for HVO, USGS, the museum that was in there. Uh, They're closing it down. It's very unfortunate. So you are getting to witness the last live views of the Jagger Museum. Now let's see if Aurelio still has his cell available in there. <laughs> he volunteered, okay? <laughs> yeah. Jolly Jihab, aloha. Hey, what's happening? Good morning to you. be going on at the same time. There you go, you Aurelio, done? there's your room on the end. <laughs> Anybody in there? <laughs> Saturday, nobody's there. <laughs> nope. <coughs> nobody's home. give you guys an idea of how long uh, of a view that how far out that is nice to see you in here geology hub usually the dormant the dominant vent ends up being the same spot that was once pre oh cool thank you very much for that Lance page you guys find me this morning I don't know where you're at <laughs> did you find us <laughs> Quake, thank you. Good to have a Good geology morning, hub Lance. in here. Like we said, we appreciate all of our volcano channels that are out there that support us. Geology hub is fantastic, takes good care of us. We appreciate everything that channel does for us. I'm going to go back to the main focal point that we've had for the last couple of days. <laughs> then says, where's Waldo Stell? We can't find him. I don't know. He could be anywhere. He could be anywhere. I know it. Those of you that don't know Geology Hub and Lance Page, check out their channel. They have amazing work. A lot of updates on Geology Hub's page. A lot of photos and videos on Lance's page. So check them out. Lance got his uh, helicopter shot of USGS that we've been trying to get for a week. Mm -hmm. He got his video uh, up on Hawaii Pod last night. Lucky dog. The shot we were waiting, oh, like a week. I even downloaded an app of uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tracking helicopters for three days. Words were exchanged. <laughs> that was the one he yeah, did, it's yeah. The shorts, yeah. We had, there were some words exchanged. Oh, there were a lot of words. Because we talked to him as soon as he put it up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Cooksters, aloha. Good morning. Hey, Cooksters. Elena, Temple 182. Good morning, everyone. 
I'll also say about Cooksters, she is the first one that ever sent us a postcard. Yes. Thank you very much. And it's still <laughs> on our refrigerator today. Absolutely. Wrote some really nice words on there. I screenshot it in case in, in time in the future. You know how writing in Hawaii, mm -hmm. anything on paper, postcards, it starts fading fast. It does, yeah. Did you guys already put the shorts of Lance's video up? The link to that shorts? Let me go and take a look. But no, don't put it up there. He don't need it up there. <laughs> Those were the words that were That's exchanged. it. The I'm done helping him. <laughs> He's going to get bigger of us and put us out of work. <laughs> <laughs> Unless he bribes us to bring and bring us food us. or we coffee. Do accept, That's easy. We do accept yeah, we bribes. Do accept bribe. Yes. I've been subscribed to Geology Hubs for some time. Well, that's great. You definitely should be. Everyone loved that action, Lance. Hope you catch it again. Don't encourage him, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, my fingers aren't working quite as fast as I would like. Better send another bribery postcard soon. <laughs> <laughs> Our address is in the description below. <laughs> bribery postcard. <laughs> I love it. Sandra uh, Mora gave us five dollars super oh, thank chat. You so Dough much. for pizza and biscuits. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> is that the shot on Big Island News? I don't think so. Um we talked to Hawaii News Now while they were up here and uh they may have wanted the shot that we had, but I don't think that they were wanting to uh, contribute to the cause, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, sometimes I think... Dennis? Oh, this is subject. Dennis, you're only oh, responsible you for yourself. Don't throw me under the bus. <laughs> Everyone say aloha to Ray. He's checking out. Ray is awesome and amazing. Yeah. Ray and Bonnie are good yeah. friends of ours. We've known for okay. a very long time. Uh, so they Bonnie, brought us delicious, the biscuits. delicious scones, biscuits, slash, however you want to call them. Hey, Ray, see you later. Did you forget the, the can of tear gas? What? The incendiaries? Did you forget any of that? <laughs> I, I How long were you planning on staying? <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Ray. Ray's got a 70 pound pack on him. Yeah. He lives and five he, minutes from here. Yeah, he brought chairs. He brought uh, doggy stuff, of course. He could walk home to get what he needed faster than he could dig through that bag and find it. <laughs> Yeah, Lance, you missed out on some delicious scones. Yep, blew yeah. that one. <laughs> well, they've got enough footage they can get for free off of USGS and HVO. They don't want our rubbish. <laughs> it's not rubbish. Don't say that. <laughs> I think we do a pretty good job. Oh, got it. Oh, Hold on. Fresh. Yeah, because sometimes it gets stuck. Yeah, I know. I like the other number. <laughs> they were scones. Yes, sir. They were scones. <laughs> okay, Lance. <laughs> <laughs> Ray calls them biscuits. Yeah. But we call them scones, yeah. We would call them scones too. Ray's a, Ray has an entirely uh, personal vocabulary <laughs> of his own. Anyway. 
you go now. It's all food talk again. Yep. <laughs> it gets a little crazy. Well, we everybody loves it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the way it is. <laughs> all morning yes great laughs great views great people thank you Pretty thank awesome. you we are coming up on two hours 59 minutes 38 seconds we are Lou and Anna two pineapples live here at Kilauea Hawaii Volcanoes National Park on the Big Island Hawaii Kilauea is erupting and it started Jen June June 7th that's because you blurbed out all those numbers <laughs> June 7th 2023 at 4 44 a.m. that is my Official, unofficial time start. I know there's a lot of contested numbers out there. I was watching. Everybody was going down to the millisecond. I'm sticking with 444 on June 7th, 2023. It's the second eruption this year at Kilauea. The first one was January 5th. I don't know what the time that was, but it was daytime. And uh, that went on for a few months and paused out, and here we are again. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that was a sweet scone. It had what's it, cranberries in cranberries. there? Cranberries. And some lemon zest. Zest. Lemon zest. <laughs> He's all honked up on caffeine. <laughs> I know. He, he was just talking his, his uh, <laughs> usual spew. <laughs> I do, man. Sometimes <laughs> some words just, my brain and my mouth don't work together sometimes. It's not a... It's not a team partnership at all. <laughs> 4.44 in 17 seconds. I'm sticking with 4.44. Easier for me to remember when I'm running my mouth at 145 miles an hour. I better take another drink of coffee. I feel like I'm slowing down. I'll use a little bit more coffee. I can stabilize. Did you guys get that? <laughs> I, I'm still so drinking the same bad. tank. I don't feel like I'm all hocked up on coffee. <laughs> I, re I really don't. <laughs> jumbly language. Yeah, jumbly language is uh, pretty normal for us. I blurb on my words a lot. Uh, so I don't talk very much. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying 90% of the time. <laughs> Just past the three hour milestone. Thank you, Ed. And we are still running at 3,296 kbps at 30 frames per second, and in three hours, two minutes, and 29 seconds, we have zero drop frames. I think nobody's up this morning. I guess so. Maybe. Oh, well, I did some tweaking yesterday too. That was part of my Jerry rigging. Me and Jerry were working. <laughs> Machine gun mouth. Might as well just pour <laughs> the coffee beans right in my mouth. Is that part of the side? <laughs> is that the part of the side of the crater I've been watching since yesterday? Yep, I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna zoom in. Give everybody a little perspective of where we're at if you're just joining us. A friendly reminder for everyone, if you have a question and we're blabbing or laughing or talking about food and don't see it on the screen, put a couple of pineapples up there. We might be able to notice it better with some emojis or some pineapples on there. Chocolate covered espresso beans. Danger. Those are so good. I used to have a friend go for a long time ago. Always had those in his pocket. You guys can see how much smoke is coming out of there, huh? You're welcome. 
every once in a while I need a reminder to just zoom out, zoom back in. A lot of things going on up here. And since I just did that, I might as well remind everybody. We're going to give you the uh, new one here in a second, somewhere here. Remember, hit that thumbs up. There's a big red button. Use that one too. And one more is that bell so that you don't miss a live. Sometimes we do not get a thumbnail up 10 to 12 hours in advance because we don't know what's going on. We'll do it right before we come up here. What's the lava fall doing now? I don't know, we'll take a look. Top uh, top left screen. It's still from, no, the lava fall is on the big screen. No, no, that's the that's the splatter cone. I think it cooled off, hardened over. The Geology Hub, you still on? On top left corner. What is your, uh, if you're still there, give us your thoughts on that rock that's sticking up right there. Somebody should have taken a screenshot yeah, for me, right? Cool. Okay, cool. Thank you, Tiggy. Take it easy, Julie. Thank you for hanging with us for three hours. <laughs> Look at the screen, babe. Mm -hmm. 
Look on the screen. The Ohia tree is kind of... Oh, oh. Are those tourists? I don't know. I can't tell. What do you guys think? Can you see that? Wow, that's a whole lot of people up there. What are they doing? Hmm. Hold on a second here. Let me back out real quick. I gotta, I gotta make a modification or something. Ed, thank you for that. <laughs> it looks like it's about a quarter. I'm going to save that because sometimes we get lost in the transition. And. Some stuff. Sorry, Ed. Sometimes we just uh, don't really look at the chat, but I skim for what I need to look for. Sometimes I screenshot that and make sure I can relay that to. There we go. Check this out. So. You want me to hold it down? Oh. I got to push down the bushes in front of the camera. Keep it down a little bit and just until you're done, huh? Yeah. Better? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Anybody got any ideas? What's going on on the other side? Whatever it is, it's got everybody's attention. Wow. They're at the edge. Yeah. Uh. uh. Anyone? Hawaiian. This is a ceremony of some sort, I think. I think it's a ceremony. Did I see a photographer? I think that's Lance. That you, Lance? He can't, <laughs> he's not talking, he's taking pictures. <laughs> I think I spotted Lance. He said, you guys must have missed the misty, rainy, wet, cloudy first half of the night. Mm -hmm. oh, we were walk, uh, it was wet when walking we got in. here. Yeah, it was still moist, but it was raining on us. That's the nice thing. Because we left umbrellas in the, in the van. <laughs> That's the viewing point that we're normally at over there. Okay. Children, please behave. I know on Rover it's a we got a good one. We got we actually got two for one for each camera.
Whew, what a run around the bowl that was. Back into the picture and picture, back up top there. Whew. You know when you hold your arms up like this for like six minutes? Mm -hmm. Start cramping in my sides. I know. <laughs> um. No, not yet. Uh, okay, so now that you're back to normal. Yes. Well, hey, did you guys hear that? Today <laughs> is June 10th, 2023. It is 7.17 a.m. Let me rephrase that before you even And I am no. back to normal. No, never normal. Woo! I just want to relay in a, a screenshot. I had to screenshot so okay. I can relay it to you from Ed. Okay. Nice zoom, Lou. The cone looks like it's about a quarter of the distance to the crater rim, about 200 feet in height. Thank you, Ed. I'm going to take these numbers and I'm going to put them into leaf? a... Uh, you leaf? said take these numbers? I'm going to take these numbers. I'm going to take these numbers and put them into a, a PDF or a, uh, a JPEG. <laughs> <laughs> and that way I can drop them on the screen. Okay. <laughs> now what I, no? Now what no, I do? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys know this, but whenever he does something weird or, or slurs something or whatever it may be, I chuckle or you guys don't see this. Yeah. I keep getting elbows. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> the only eruption I'm worried about is the one that stands next to me. <laughs> Sometimes he accidentally slips. <sighs> there are times he said some things before. We go back and we crop it out or mute that part section. To... Man, <laughs> I tell you, I'm the only one in danger around here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what happened here? Oh, I, I, I clicked something. Oh, sometimes oh. I don't even know what my... What I'm doing over here. Barbara Hunter says, thanks, two pineapples, awesome pics. Take care, love, from Brittany, France. Thank you. Oh, got to scroll up a little bit. <laughs> that seems to be an addict of our, you know, for everyone. Sometimes... What, you bullying me? No, I don't bully you. You're such a bully. No, you're a bully. <laughs> now I've lost my train of thought. Thank you. I was going to say something. Ooh, she lost her train of thought. I escaped um. another one. <sighs> no, I forgot. I was going to say something. I was in the middle of saying something. Now I know how you feel when I interrupt uh -huh. you all the time. All the time. Yep. Karma. Hey, girl, you just crossed your one month. All right, girl, right thank you. What's it say there? I love your channel. Thank you very much. <laughs> Astro Cozy, aloha. Choked up my own spit. Um, okay, this seems more like geology. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Is that not a precarious position to be if she b does blow? Yeah, I'm standing like two inches from her. And you've probably never seen my wife blow her lid. Oh, God, I just got the eyes. Watch well, what I'm just reading. Gordon put that on there, see? Look, I'll put it up for everybody to read. Is not that a precarious position to be fun. if she does blow? 
Yes, this is a He wasn't talking dangerous. about me. He's talking about the volcano. The volcano, all the all the lava is is contained in the caldera. She's already erupted. Take my glasses. We're going off, through an so eruption right can now. See my glare. The, the SO2 is going in the other direction. <laughs> we are in a safe place. We're 2.2 miles back from the eruption. There's only one eruption I worry about now. Right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, the stare, glare, whatever you want to call it, is real. <laughs> My kids, the dogs, that glare scares people. <laughs> oh, eye rolls, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Tiggy, she could try, I've got cat-like reflexes. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Laws, member for four months now. Mahalo. Hey, right on. Thank you very much. And then Gura gave us a super chat. Oh. I don't know that translated. It's S E K is one twenty nine. I don't know translated that. Have to Google that. Swedish kroners. Swedish kroners. I think. Yes, Dennis. I call it that myself. Mm -hmm. As I'm running away. It is. Yeah. There's My so many words that we call it. Thank guys. <laughs> I don't know. You know, you when you have children, if you guys have children, your children pick up patterns that you do as a parent. Well, the dogs pick up the same pattern as I do. When we all get that eye, that look, we all drop our heads and our <laughs> knees buckle a little bit and we turn slowly in another direction and move. And the dogs all do the same thing. It's yep. like you see all three of us kind of if, drop, if mom's turn, upset, and move. That stink, I will really <laughs> turn your head around. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's all all moms, wives, you know, boyfriends, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the silent treatment is the absolute worst because oh, yeah. that's when I'm thinking <laughs> she's planning something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I begin. That's maybe that's why I want the phone booth so bad. I need some place to barricade myself in <laughs> with windows all around so yeah. I can see her coming. I just uh, saw a twenty dollars super tiggy. chat from Ed. Thank you very much, Ed. It says, calm down, Looney. The one's going to blow. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, unwind, and enjoy, right, Ed? <laughs> oh, funny. Oh, sometimes we don't communicate it at oh, all. Yeah. Normal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's when there's when when he knows something's wrong. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, just eyes and head nods. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Eye movement, head nods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or it's me. That look is fun. Ducking out. <laughs> the, and you the, just see me taking off. No, you don't move. <laughs> <laughs> you don't move. Oh, I, I kind of, I kind of look at those situations like I, when I was always hunting, when a predator sees me, an animal sees me out there, I freeze, <laughs> and I don't move. I wait for, for her to make the next move, because <laughs> I'm in full defense mode. Usually I just continue working and I actually get more busier when I'm your upset. Life, <laughs> your life insurance up to date. Yeah. <laughs> now, they told me I can no longer up it. <laughs> I've been canceled. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks a lot. Kinda I like burned it, off all the, like it's I hard blurred, to, burned off all the scones. Kind of like it's hard to get insurance here in the lava zones. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like getting insurance being married. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> They know the risks and hazards uh, far uh, outweigh their financial benefits. <laughs> so they're like, you're on your own. Still howling, but mm -hmm. so far it's kind of clear. Yeah, it's not bad. Far side, yeah. Oh, that uh, the vent back there is a little smoky.
about three tissues already. But now that the sun's up, it's much better. <laughs> Thumbs not happy. Oh, it just really doesn't like that cold. Look how swollen it is. Yeah. It's like a candy bar. It's like a swollen thumb. No, it's like a candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a Twix. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, we could sit here for another five hours, but we're three hours and 25 minutes in, and we want to keep going for a few more days or however long we can. <laughs> so we will wrap it up. Call it a great morning. It's mm -hmm. been fun today. Great views. It was a great show. And we had amazing views. Else. Yeah. <laughs> Anna's got so much footage that I'm going to be behind the, the screens when I get home and try to put something up. Um, one something quick and one something kind of mm -hmm. pretty cool. We tried yesterday, but my folk. Who was that? That was my glasses and my oh. nose. She wasn't getting it done yesterday, and yeah, I was working um, on other things. I was out of focus, and yeah. I spent a couple hours doing one thing, and he was like, What's wrong with like, you? What are you wasting that your time could, on that for? That could have been move. done in like yeah. 15 minutes. Yeah, or I'm like, move so on. I wasn't, my mind wasn't straight. So. Sometimes we have to remind each other. Yeah. If we see each other sitting on a project for too long and getting nowhere, we'll say, something's hey. Something's wrong. <laughs> yeah, something's wrong. Switch gears. Do something else for a yeah. while. Come back to it because it's not working. You're wasting too much time. Yeah. That was kind of yesterday for her on that. We wanted to get a video up yesterday. Yeah, we did. We did. We'll, I, get, we'll shoot it. It was my fault. We'll get it done today. I take all the blame. I've got a. Uh, <laughs> I have uh, work to do on the Jerrion today, some stabilization stuff I'm working on, and uh, that's about it. Yeah. yeah. We'll be we'll back be around up. today. Yeah. We don't usually nap in the day if we get do our late no, night. No, we're not napping. We don't nap. No. Um, so we'll be around in and out of the chat. Yeah. All that fun stuff. And uh, I will get, I'll jump on to the 247. You all get redirected there momentarily, but I'll jump on live myself on the 247 throughout the day. If I have an update... Um, like this morning's update, mm -hmm. if they give it. If I find anything cool I want to show, I'll put that up there. Maybe I'll uh, find some of Lance's pictures and use them <laughs> myself. <laughs> uh, other than that, we want to say thank you to all the super chatters today. Thank you very much. Uh, all our mods, all our new subscribers, our subscribers that have been with us since 2020. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Um, Everyone's been wonderful. We have Discord available if you want to jump on there and share uh, anything that you have, that you have pictures of traveling or sunsets or cooking or whatever, or see the volcano pictures that Anna takes. She puts them all in there. If you're into greenhouses and gardening and all that, she's got all her and stuff all in there. Stuff. Everybody's yeah, welcome to use post. Discord. We built that for you guys. Yeah, don't feel intimidated, please. Some a no. lot of people just kind of like watch for a little bit, but yeah, yeah jump in there. Share anything you like. Yep. You know, share jump some pictures. There. Jump in there, chit chat. You know, everyone's open to conversation and want to see what everyone else is doing. So yep. absolutely you, do that. If you have any questions about the volcano, uh, about Kilauea. You can put them in Discord. You can go on to 247. Mm -hmm. I just saw Tiggy will be in and out of there today. The mods mm -hmm. are jumping in and out. Mm -hmm. We wear our mods down during times <laughs> like this. Not uh, like we want to. No, no. We, we tell them. We force everybody to try to take yeah, a break. Yeah, everybody does. The, they change shifts, and, and they'll do what they need to do if yeah. they have to. But they They're grown-ups. Yeah, they know that <laughs> when it comes to the, the, the beginnings of eruptions, we push as hard as we possibly can up front to get as much as we, mm -hmm. uh, we can. Mm -hmm. So with that, don't forget to make sure you look down below, hit that thumbs up. Um, or if you're not subscribed, subscribe, mm -hmm. make sure that bell is hit. Share us out, grab, grab the link and, and send it to one buddy today. It really boosts our algorithm. We're so close to 15K. Um, I can feel it, I can feel it. <laughs> we so. don't usually have a set goal we don't. of what we want. No. A subscriber account. We appreciate everyone. You know, yeah. it's it's a slow process. Everything has been organic, so it's yeah. awesome for us. You know. Yep. Yeah. With that, we say aloha. <laughs> oh my I gosh, you my ruin spit. everything. <laughs> I took down my own spit. It's because of you. Anyway, <laughs> aloha, everyone. Have a great day. See you again. Have aloha. a great weekend.
all the time.